2014 dopo la vincita del 2023 lo leader di Yumi lo Papua New Guinea I'm start lo Tuesday 26 of November 2024 and yeah plan di oggi non discuto in camera mi dà interesse lo discuto sin da un mio olio lo aste now lo talk lo discuto a bill lo government proposing now lo carim cambio flow lo parliament lo debating Pilih am lo change in section one four five lo constitution bimbi way am giving provision lo vote of no confidence lo come up after eighteen months grace period time ni lo prime minister kunci after eighteen months lo office am if am perform am lo perform opposition can move him a vote of no confidence against him sebagai prime minister na change him na if am successful lo win him is lo vote against him am and can continue sebagai prime minister na sebab so this lah hello Mi, mi no clear to maslo law na constitution and law, but la understanding do mi law. Mi sa ring news na watin law news. Amo sa awala tingin mi sila bill eh, I mean law constitution bill mi eh. Na propose mi sila bill, I mean di mi sila section law constitution eh. Na no kadi pa mi flow mi parliament no debate mi. So mi sa interest law talk talk we alam ba mi kimi na mi la kimi wala watin mati. Jadi saya mahu sampaikan lebih penting pun yang topik ini is concern and care for the country as a whole. It's a shown through the entire argument. So mila kita mula watching hari, skill mula looking mula please. You mila buat next year, next election. Skill man good nak tinggal no man will concern ini. So you plan watching the speech itu pun just mila kita mula concern ini. So then please, yeah, yeah is the video. Honourable. Governor for ECP. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Uh, number one talk, I mean, like talk. Uh, thank you, Lord. You give him chance long. Arim neck long, people blow ECP. Plenty money call him name long. Somarena, me harimna. Only like using this floor some justification as to why we need more stability. You know, it's a sad day for PNG when you missed up lo here na. People all watch him, you me lo camera na. One black minister and Sanapna talk out the same, not the soul. Only give him him five million kina. It's on hand side, and the people of Papua New Guinea saw that. So the interesting question is, how many of the government MPs were given five million kina today? No, we just heard it from a minister, Mr. Prime Speaker. Minister. Uh, it's on the hand side. Honourable Governor, we have a point of order. Uh, allow Prime Minister to raise point of order. Prime Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, point of order, Blumi, and uh, Dr. the Minister must not be quoted out of context. He was saying that government. It's a fair government. Government distributes resources to all districts. If districts get five million, everyone gets five million. That's what's from the context. But I want to place on record. I want to place on record. In this sitting of parliament, there was no money given to each member of parliament. We came in here for the for the parliament business with no money given. So that's just for point of clarity. Honourable Governor, uh, thank you. I was just quoting the minister who spoke not so long ago. Second two, I think it's very sad when a member in the government caucus screams across and says, me plus our, you plus our man, and me plus no God. It is sad because surely we should be educated enough to be on this floor to debate matters such as changing the constitution. <coughs> this is not a small thing. This last section long constitution in a way deals with stability of government, political stability. It is the most amended part of the Constitution. How many governments before this one have amended it? In our first time, in our first time, it doesn't matter if it's Mr. O'Neill or you yourself, Honorable Prime Minister. It is about the responsibility to the country. It's not about you. It's not about the Honorable O'Neill. We are here to defend what is good for our people. Time all, all founding fathers only sit down and design him constitution. Yeah, yeah. No, 1972. There was a reason why. Only put him. Despla. Safety valve. Pressure relief valve. We go inside long. Democracy blew him. They designed it specifically. In a democracy, all parts are supposed to work well. I've been in this parliament now going in by, I think, seven years blew me now. In that time, the executive government has basically run roughshod over parliament. It has run roughshod over the courts. There is no accountability. You mean check and balance blame in the country? I know walk here. 
And you want to give more, more power to the executive government in a system where the executive government already has a lot of power? That doesn't make sense to me. Whether you are in a private company or you start low government, they work because of checks and balances. They don't work because one person has absolute power. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't work like that. Companies are successful because you got check and balance. System no papa ni gini lo check and balance all papa i designing me i no work good here. We have to go back and read the constitutional planning committee report and try to understand what they were trying to do. You mean on a thing of them now all same wabla. Member blo government sing out come na talk or me plan no got save. Well suppose you plan no got save, why you plan to go back na send it in something where all papa make him lo nineteen seventy five. If you don't have the intellectual capacity to understand what they're doing, why do you want to change it? And admit screaming across the floor, yes, Mibla no got sabe. That is a sad day with type of people from Papua New Guinea watching you miss Tabna. You may leader admit also Mibla no got sabe. That's not good enough. Our people deserve better. This is the sixth amendment to the constitution that will be brought on by the Marape government. The Marape government has not served for 18 months. It has not served for two years. This is going on six years now. How much time, how much stability do you need to fix law and order? Uh, another six years? Another 10? How much time do you need, leaders? How much time do you need to fix the power problem? Do you need another 10 years? How much time do you need to fix the fuel problem? More stability? More time? Mr. Speaker, this is ludicrous. You've been in power for six years and there's not a solution for Nothing. FX. Why did we have an FX problem? Well, we had stability and we decided to close Pogra. Pogra took out six and a half billion US dollars from our economy by being closed. That was a decision taken by this government. We have a point of order, Prime Absolute, Minister. Absolutely, there's no evidence on $6.5 billion. He needs to state where his evidence comes from, Mr. Speaker. This parliament must not be parliament where people just pluck out numbers of the blue. And program was started on, I take responsibility for government policy to get back more for our country. There was no flight of $6.5 billion out of this economy. He needs to produce the numbers. Mr. Speaker. Honorable Governor. Pogra was making $1.2 billion in exports a year. So me just walking rough calculation, not taking into account the massive increase in gold prices. But anyway, let's not go there. Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker, the fact is, because we had no FX from Pogra, Treasurer had to go out and borrow money just so our businesses could have FX to do business. The reason why businesses are not in Papua New Guinea, they don't want to come, is not because of instable government. It's because they can't take their money out once they make a profit. It's as simple as that. Last week, that's all. Central Bank issued one statement where Amy Toko Sam. No got one black company by repatriating all profits belong out of Papua New Guinea. It is low priority. There's a letter from the Central Bank stating that. How much black company overseas investors by come and invest here when you tell them they can't take their dividends out? Government policy blame blame make him down by no nap come. They come here to make a profit and take it out. You peel him now. <laughs> one, one, you know, point of order. Um, I think this forex issue was before um, Prime Minister Marabe became Prime Minister. It's been an ongoing thing. It, um, getting dividends out of the country, forex issue was there before um, Prime Minister Marabe came. So I think that that statement should be withdrawn. Honourable uh, Mr. Speaker, Governor, thank you. The fact is. It was one of the reasons we changed government. We wanted to fix it. It's taken six years. When is it going to be fixed, my illustrious minister? When? Do you need another three years? Do you need more stability so you can sit in the chair for 10 years and fix it? Papua New Guinea can't wait that long for you to fix the problem. Okay. You play in like Senesim system. All other system, whether it's the engine of a car, the air conditioning system that runs here, they all have safety valves. You are proposing to put a delay mechanism. Now, the last time this parliament amended this section of the constitution 
and gave the government 30 months grace period. Guess what? Supreme Court struck it out. And now? Now, now you meeting us and we are so smart, we are going to outsmart the Supreme Court judges and make another amendment. That's what we are thinking. That's what we are thinking. The brilliant thing is that Papua New Guinea, what's him now? You may go to Sanabna, Totoglo here, Stapia. Why you may like Senesim? Why you may like Strongim? What are we trying to do? Coming back to law and order, it is a very sad day when leaders in this house say that law and order is a leadership problem. You go to Australia, it's the justice system that resolves law and order, not leaders. The same thing in Fiji, the same thing in New Zealand, the same thing in any other decent country that's not a Boy Republic. Now, Mipla, no God, you know, walk the police, you know, walk the judge, you know, walk the prosecutors, walk the you leader, the Gorona Stratim. Why are we so different to other countries? And why are we using that as an excuse to amend this section of the Constitution to give the government more power? There's another bill here. It's an anti terrorism bill. We have to be careful, leaders. It starts by changing one law. Then you bring in Narbla law, bring in Narbla law, and before you know it, you've arrived at a totalitarian government. That's how it starts, leaders. It's happening. We are now on that road because you want it. Me like him was in Papua New Guinea looking past we've logged up by supporting this bill because five years from now, when things get worse, I want them to know who is responsible. Correct. And I want, to, I want them to know who stood up and said no. Who stood up and said no? No government has amended the Constitution as much as that government. You hold a record for constitutional amendments, and now you're proposing another one. Law and order should depend on a strong police force. Can the minister stand up and say that we have a strong police force? We have five and a half thousand policemen in Papua New Guinea. Fiji has the same number. Fiji has the same number. And Fiji is smaller than Isipik in its size. So don't blame law and order on leadership. If you want to, blame it on your own lack of understanding of what the problem is and what it needs to fix it. No can come now blaming more leader. I have fights in my districts where I have two policemen. Police is not the function of the ECP provincial government, it's the function of the national government. And, and no. Function blow you blah. And in six years you haven't fixed it. Now going seven years now. You blah need him stability, no making one him threat. I think that's the more important question you should be telling the people of Papua New Guinea. What do you need the stability for? Because it's certainly not to fix our power issues. It's certainly not to fix our fuel issues. It's not to fix our FX issues. It's not to fix law and order. Because if you could, you would have done it already in six years. How much time does a prime minister need to fix problems? Does he need three years? Does he need six years? Does he need 10 years? Does he need 20? These are important questions that you may should answer law here. Not amend the constitution so that you may guess fire, guess fire now. Strong him, strong him, strong him now. We are going to have the same discussion in 2027. It's not good enough. Mibla no can make him law, lo suti mibla lo now. Mibla should make him law where all tumuna by enjoying. 